but welcome back i am here doing another video continue on with this min max series so the purpose of min max is to spend the minimum amount and being the maximum effective uh, my goal is to help you achieve the most by doing the less or spending the less i should say um, so let's get right into it if you remember the last video i mentioned that um, this gift pack is probably the best value for radios because it gives you radios it gives you speed ups of some sort and it gives you resources. Um, just a quick recap of, of what we talked about last time. I'm trying to get um, the new new the new Rick and uh, Carl um, family unity chemistry. And what I found is per every 100 draws, you get at least two frags. You need 550 frags to go from five star to six stars. That means you need 275 draws in order to do that and if you multiply that by the 100 that you draw you essentially get 27,500 radios necessary to go pretty much from five star to six star for sure it should not cost more than 27,500 radios to do that all right so then if you take that 27,500 and divide it by the 1666 what you get is about 16.5. Um, and so if you multiply that by the $100 that you'll spend, that's from right here, it's essentially 1650 bucks. If you use gift packs to get five-star Rick to go to six-star Rick or five-star Carl to go to six-star Carl. Now, there is an event called Purchase Club. Mr. Daniel Thompson reminded me on the last video. Thank you, sir. And with Purchase Club, you have denominations of 20, 10, and 5. And you can buy these radios purely. At $20 is 520, at $10 is 260, and at $5 is 130. But essentially, for every $100 that you spend, you're going to get 2,600 radios. And then if you divide that 2,600 radios into that 27,500 we said earlier, you get about 10.57. Uh, so technically, like 10.6. Okay. And then if you multiply that by 100, sorry, it's getting messy. We're out of space. Basically, 1060 bucks will get you um, the 27,500 radios. So, you got um, 1,650 on one end and 1,060 on the other end. This is basically a difference of $600. I mean, 590 if you want to be technical, but I'll round up to 600 so the purpose of this video is, is to say hey if you just buy the radios pure radios you would have 600 dollars savings uh, basically but are all of the minutes that you get and the resources that you get worth this 600 dollars or not so um let's do some simple math uh we already know what this times 16 is, but what is this times 16, and what is this times 16? So I'm going to use a calculator. You guys can uh, probably do it in your heads, I'm sure, right? Uh, just give me one second. So I'm going to take 202 hours and times that by 16. And that is 3,232 hours. Um, so if you go for the best deal on the gift pack, this 3,200 probably is the least amount of um, minutes you should or hours you should get. And then if we take 100K, multiply that by 16, and then multiply that by this 2,389, We are looking at about 20, 
So I do this right. One, two, three point eight billion resources. So it's six hundred dollars worth three thousand two hundred and thirty two. Um, hours of, re of speed ups and 3 billion resources. Um, so the 3 billion resources is pretty easy to prove its value. Um, I don't know too many things that offer you um, resources straight up. Usually resources come as a pack or in a pack. <clears throat> the only place that you can buy uh, resources straight up is this gift bag. But anyone who's played this game know there's no reason like to buy anything from here, like typically ever. This actually probably is a good deal, these first purchases ones. But other than that, do not ever buy anything from here. But just to show you the, the base value of the game, this says for, for 10 bucks you can get 3 million um, lumber. So basically for 100 bucks you can get 30 million lumber. All right, and then of course if you do times this by the six because you would have had six hundred dollars left over if you did the purchase club route versus uh, the purchase club route versus the gift um, the gift club, uh, then you'll see that you only get a hundred and eighty million um, lumber, which are six hundred dollars, and that was versus. 3 billion lumber. So the if 3 billion 1 2, one, two, two three, divided by 180 million This is like a 16,000% or 1,600% value, basically. You're getting 16 times as much value if you took the $600 and spent it on the lumber pack versus taking the six, instead of paying $1,600 in totality for um, the, the gift club. So... Um, I keep saying gift club, but that is not right. What's it called? The gift pack. Okay. Oh, did I break it? I broke it. Broke the game. Okay, sorry about that. I somehow, some way broke the game, but <clears throat> here it is back up. But anyways, the point was... The $600 that you save, um, if you were going straight for the radios on the gift club, um, on the purchase club versus the gift pack, does not get you anywhere near what you would get resources-wise. Now, minutes-wise is another story. And um, I'll go back to the screenshot here. So, um we said that you get about 3,000 3, hours if you spent all your money on this trying to get the 27,500 rios. All right. Purchase Club has um in it where you can get 30,000 minutes for 20 bucks so of course if you multiply that by five because that gives you a hundred dollars you get 1500 minutes for every hundred dollars that you spend in the purchase club um, and then if you divide this 1500 by 60 which I am doing again on a calculator. Uh, 15. What? Let's 
Sorry, this is taking so long. My brain's broke. You get 2,500 hours per $100. So, as you can see, that's going to greatly outweigh how many minutes you would get if you just took that $600 and spent it on Purchase Club. Uh, let's do that real quick. <clears throat> you would essentially get 15,000 hours if you broke things up and said, hey, I'm going to spend a thousand bucks, the, the thousand bucks I need on Purchase Club to get the 27,500 radios. And then I'm going to take the $600 left over that I would have spent in the gift pack and use that strictly on minutes on Purchase Club. Um, you would have far more minutes than you would have um, anything else. So it seems the trade off is um, the resources. I guess I did the math before. Let me do it again. Uh, 15,000 hours versus. Thirty-two hundred. Let me make sure that's right. Two two times sixteen. Yeah. Then if you divide by fifteen thousand, divided by thirty-two hundred, four times. So this is four times as much value. And with the um, resources, we saw that when you multiply this by 16, you essentially get 16 times as much value as if you spent it in the regular gift shop or the gift pack. Or, yeah, the gift shop. We'll call it a gift shop. So, um, like I said, it's a trade-off. The thing about this game, and I will be making a video, I think, later about, um, like, what is the best way to play this game, is that it's great to have a whole bunch of, of radios, but when it comes, or it, it's great to have a whole bunch of speed ups, but essentially, they're, the only thing I can think of right now at the top of my head that you can use solely um, on, well, I guess you can't call it development. What I'll say is this, um, in order to use these speed ups, you need resources. So if you have a bunch of radios and a bunch of speed ups, but no resources, these speed, these speed ups are meaningless, meaningless. And then you can farm and um, grind or do whatever you need to do, get resources. But essentially all those minutes will go to waste. And then the time that you're waiting, trying to attribute or, or get more resources, you basically um, could have used that time to you're letting your research pretty much um, develop itself so a good mix probably would be like spend three hundred dollars straight on the radios if you're on doing the purchase club and then do the other 300 on um the on on something that gives you a lot of uh resources but purchase club and gift pack are pretty much to, are two i think high value comparable things um, again, there is really nothing that sells the resources by themselves. So um, you kind of just gotta gotta get things that you absolutely need in this in this point. All right, so I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, again, the goal was to try to show the value of trying to go from five star to six star with um, Rick or Carl and the different ways that you can do it. The two main ways I showed today was like gift pack versus um, purchase club. And basically one way saves you, purchase club saves you $600, but what you do with that $600 um, will kind of determine like if you got a good value or not. Um, to me, you can't go wrong with the gift pack because every you literally can pick all the things that you need from it you could 
And when I make the video about the best way to play the game, it's going to basically say, hey, um, tailor the game to what you need and don't buy things that come with the pack that you don't need. So um, that's going to wrap up the video today. Hope this answers some questions for you all. Um, I don't have this many rubies anymore. Bye-bye, rubies. <laughs> Until next time, later.